Rogers, welcome to it. Great to have your company. It is Thursday morning. 13, 13, 32. You want to run that argument? You're welcome to do it right here. Welcome again to Thursday afternoon here on 2 e The road is just not operating the way a road should. 13, 13, 32. Quarter to five. Breakfast show on 2UE is a reflection of Sydney, so it takes in the news and the views of our audience. 2UE has been that, that pulse, particularly in the mornings, where there's an expectation that if something happens in the city, you listen to it and you hear it on 2UE. Now, there's going to be a crackdown on all of this, but it is a crime. How are decisions made? How are people influencing those who do make the decisions? Part of our job on The Breakfast Show is to actually explain to them how that happens. Well, I agree with Gary and I think we should go one step further. Why should they be able to use our taxpayer funds and earn millions of dollars? Great, we'll be with you shortly. Thanks so much for holding on. Good is Stuart Bocking with you here on this Thursday morning. A very special guest will join us coming up in the studio soon. We're at the centre of what goes on in Sydney. I mean, we look at other parts of the world and we look on and think, how do these things happen? To imagine this sort of thing happens in our own backyard, it, it leaves you numb, doesn't it? Breaking news, big stories, political meltdowns. You can always know you'll see that 2UE microphone there. It's nine o'clock. Good morning, I'm Steve Blander. We're headed for a top of 25 degrees right through Sydney this afternoon. Madge Coturns, it's great to have your company and your contributions and your questions. The afternoon show, well it's all about information, about what's going on in our own backyards and beyond, but it's also about having fun. Yeah, we're going to meet Peter Powers, the British hypnotist. I love it when a listener calls up with a random comment and we all suddenly latch onto the idea and run with it. Coming up in a moment, the argument and the debate and passion. The connection with 2UE and the city and its listeners is, is extraordinary. The history. The, the listeners had this incredible ability to sort of cut through all the rubbish and cut through all the things that are being said about an issue, get right to the heart of it, find out what's important to them and important to a lot of other people and they just yank it out and they make you explain it. I love it. That didn't happen. That all happened without us knowing anything about it. Justin, with all due respect, yep. I don't think it's the right time to be looking at works of art. And it's great to have your company on a Wednesday evening. John Gibbs with you. Two hours of sport coming up. Good evening and welcome to night. So I'm Walter Williams and for the next four hours, strap yourself in. It's a brand new day. It is New Day Australia. This is Luke Boner all around Australia. Good morning, George and Paul on 2UE, bright and early on Saturday morning. Coming up in just a second, Paul, we'll have a great quiz question for you. We'll look at what's going on in the city, we'll check the traffic. The thing about Talkback Radio is it's live, It's you're, you're flying without a safety belt. We'll get an email from time to time and it always finishes with the same line. Love the show. I can sum it up in a word, <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> The privilege we have every day of being able to get behind that microphone. We're actually going to take you gently into the world that you've just woken up to and explain it to you. Tiwi is the place I think where Sydney siders come and have their voices heard. It's like the bridge, it's like the opera house. It's been there for so long, it's just become a part of the place. Tiwi and the Fairfax Radio Network. Informed, intelligent, influential.